doing this thing with his pick. He called it like a bagpipe sound. And I thought, what is that? And I figured out he was tapping. So I started to experiment with it. Steve Vai is a famous American singer, composer, guitarist, producer, songwriter, film score composer, beekeeper, and philanthropist. Steve has won three Grammy Awards and is nominated for a Grammy Award 15 times. Although he started his career as a transcriptionist for Frank Zappa, he's enjoyed a successful solo career as well. The famous musician has released eight solo albums during his career. The guitarist is described as a highly individualistic player, and his most successful album is Passion and Warfare, released in 1990. Guitar World Magazine describes this album as the richest, as well as best, hard rock guitar virtuoso album of the 1980s. Hotel restaurant, it was this beautiful restaurant at the top of this big hotel. And I was on tour with David Lee Roth and I had a bodyguard with me and he videotaped it. <laughs> if you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Steven Ciro Vai, but he's also known as stunt guitarist and little Italian virtuoso. He was born June 6, 1960 in Carl Place, New York, making him 60 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.83 meters or 6 feet tall. Steve is a vegetarian and keeps bees as a hobby. The famous guitarist harvested more than 900 pounds of honey in 2001. Moreover, the star sign of this talented guitarist is Gemini. He weighs around 78 kilograms. Apart from being a successful guitarist, Steve is also an avid painter. While this guitarist's paintings are not as popular as his guitar skills, his art proves that he is undoubtedly a talented painter. He's active on social media platforms, and from his Instagram account, fans can see his touring life as well as other adventures. You can also see the massive guitar collection of Steve Vai on his page. At one time, Steve virtually instructed 4,455 students on the online campus of the Berklee College of Music. This class is considered the largest online guitar lesson in the world. The famous guitarist is married to Pia Maiko, who's a former bassist of the band Vixen. Steve met Pia at Berklee College of Music. They have two children together, including Julian and Fire Vai. The family lives in Encino, Los Angeles. Listening to um, uh, Frank Zappa, Inca Rhodes, his solo, one of the greatest guitar solos for me that I've ever heard. A descendant of Italian immigrants, Steve was the fourth son of Teresa Vai and John. Steve played piano for the first time when he was five years old. The guitarist had said that when he first walked up to a piano and played, he had a full-on epiphany that very moment. Steve says he realized he could make music, and when he was six years old, Steve experienced his first introduction to the guitar. As a young child, the talented guitarist was influenced by the music his parents listened to. When he turned 11, Steve was introduced to the contemporary music and progressive music of that era after he heard the guitar solo to Heartbreaker by Led Zeppelin. Steve decided to start playing the guitar at age 12. Back in 1973, the talented musician started taking guitar lessons from Joe Satriani. Throughout high school, Steve played with several local bands, including The Ohio Express, Rage, and Circus. Jeff Beck, Richie Blackmore, Brian May, Jimmy Page, and Jimi Hendrix were some of Steve's significant influences at that time. Then in 1978, Steve attended Berklee College of Music in Boston, Mass to further pursue his interest in music composition. The guitarist started working for Frank Zappa as a transcriptionist while he was still studying at Berklee College of Music. During his fourth semester, Steve moved to California to pursue his career as a session and touring artist for Frank Zappa. In 2003, Steve received an honorary doctorate of music from Berklee College of Music. Steve worked with Frank Zappa for two years and toured extensively during that time. He had a featured artist on the recording called Zappa's Universe. After he left Berkeley and moved to California, Steve auditioned for Zappa and became a full-time member of Zappa's band. In 2006, the guitarist also appeared as a special guest on the Zappa Plays Zappa tour of Dweezil Zappa. In 1982, Steve left Zappa, and in 1984, he released his debut solo album titled Flexible, which was a moderate success. 
Then in 1985, Vi joined Billy Sheehan and David Roth's band, Eat 'em and Smile. The debut album, Eat 'em and Smile, of this group was a massive hit. In May 1986, the band embarked on a world tour that continued through 1987. The tour was highly successful. However, the group disbanded soon after the tour because of creative differences among the members. Then in 1989, Vi joined the band called Whitesnake and played all the guitar parts on the album Slip of the Tongue. At this time, Steve also played for other bands and formed two bands, including The Classified and 777. In 1980, Steve released a solo album called Passion and the Warfare, which included hit tracks such as For the Love of God and The Animal. In 1996, Steve released an album called Fire Gardens, which was divided into two phases. One phase of this album contained primarily instrumental music, while the second one had vocals by Steve on most of his songs. Later in 1999, the album The Ultra Zone was released, which pays tribute to legendary guitarists including Stevie Ray Vaughan and Frank Zappa. In 2005, Steve's concept album titled Real Illusions Reflections was out, which had tracks including Dying For Your Love, Lotus Feet, and Building the Church. The most recent album of Steve's is The Story of Light, which was released in 2012. Back to Minneapolis, Steve? I certainly hope so, because I love Minneapolis. Actually, Minneapolis is where I uh, proposed to Pia. Steve I earns millions of dollars from his albums, as well as record label known as Favored Nations. Vi is considered one of the highest paid guitarists in the world and was ranked number one on People With Money's list of top 10 highest paid guitarists for 2020. The successful guitarist has sold more than 15 million albums globally during his successful career. Back in 1984, Steve made more than $61,000 from his album titled Flexible. In 1990, his album Passion and Warfare earned him more than $1.8 million. From 1993 to 1999, Steve Vai made over $410,000 from his various albums. In 2009, Steve's video album called Where the Wild Things Are earned him $50,000. And like most of the artists across the globe, Steve also has his own merchandise line, which includes scarves, blankets, wallets, and t-shirts, among other things. The total net worth of Steve Vai is $14 million. The guitarist's primary residence is his house in Encino, California. Moreover, the guitarist also acquired a property in the Hollywood Hills for $330,000 in 1987. The property included the Mothership Studio, which covered 1,400 square feet, and a house which features an area of around 3,981 square feet. The studio features a booth, a live room, a control room, a microphone room, a kitchen, and a lounge area. On the other hand, the house has a family room, a living room, den, three bedrooms, four full bathrooms, and half a bathroom. Then in 2015, Steve sold this Hollywood Hills home for $1.5 million. Steve also owned a house in Silmar, Los Angeles, which he bought in 1983. The guitarist built his first professional studio in that house. Steve I likely owns the following cars. A Cadillac Escalade, a Nissan Z, A 1998 red Fiat Punto. A Ford F-150 Crew Cab. A Mercedes, a 
and an Audi A5.